Hi, Kwan. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Okay, today we're gonna talk Unit 46. Okay, so we're gonna have Unit 46 now, okay? So I will show you the screen. I hope you will participate during the class. Okay, so I just hope you will participate during the class of teacher, okay? Is that clear? I want you to talk because, <laughs> okay, I hope you will doing great here, okay? Very good now, Kwan Kwan. How was your day today? Oh. Okay, it's very good. You're doing great with school. Yay. That's nice to hear. Teacher, can we have cake? Cat, you want cat? Oh my god. It's a ah, you want to try cat? Yeah. Okay, but we're not yet cat. Okay, you want to try to lesson cat? Today? Today? Yeah. You want to try to lesson? Okay, you will try listening to cat. I will find if I still have cat here. Okay, you want to try listening cat? Yeah. Okay, just a minute. Teacher will find it. Okay, I erase it. Okay, I will try to find cat for you. So let us try cat listening for you. Okay, this is your request. So teacher cannot say no because this is your request, okay? After cat, we'll go back to our topic. So I will just let you try, let you see how good you are in cat, okay? Yeah, okay. For a while, just wait because teacher is just searching, looking for cat, cat. Okay, so how are you today? What did you do in your school, in, in your house? Do you play with potato? No. Okay, potato is busy. Still no. in oh, you did not go to your grandma's house now? No. I can see that there you have visitors the last time. Is that your grandma? Yeah. Wow. Who's that mother? The mother of your mom or mother of your dad? The mother of your mom. She probably miss, miss you and Potato. Okay, I can hear Potato voice. Is that Potato voice shouting? Oh, it seems no one in the house. Are you alone in the house? Yes, okay, you listen. <laughs> potato is <laughs> potato is singing. Who is that? Oh, you have a big house, Ta Aquan. Your house is big. Oh, there is a flower. Hello. <laughs> I hear potato saying hello, teacher. <laughs> Teacher. Yeah. Oh, raise your hand. Hi. You're raising your hand. Okay, for a while. Teacher cannot. Okay, open this one. Sorry. Ah, oh, you know how to do that? Raising the hand. You try to study how to or to type message, how to write letters. You can. It's near there. Very near there.
A potato now is crying. Okay, just a minute because I am searching the cat. Okay, it's here now. Okay, I cannot open the cat. It's hard to open, but it's now. Okay, you wait for teacher. Okay, I will give you the cat listening, okay? Please try to answer the cat listening. Yeah, wait for a while. You with me. I'm still okay. It's here. Finally, it's here. It's hard to open the cat because you requested cat. That's why teacher is. Searching the cat. Where is cat? Where is cat? What happened to Wait for a while, you wait me. I am not Tom. I am not King. I am not Wangai. I am Hansa. Oh. Oh my God, teacher hardly had. Okay, it's here, it's opening now. No way. It's here, listening for a while. Teacher is just loading it, loading it, loading, loading. Nothing. Okay, it's here. Opening cat, I will share the cat now. Sorry, Kwan, it's so long, it takes so long for me to open the cat. Because you are searching cat, so teacher is doing the cat. Okay, it's here. Just wait one minute more. Are you excited to have the cat? Okay, please answer it properly. Oh my God, why? Okay, it's here. Finally, it's here. Kwan, wait for a while. I will share now. Okay, it's here. Oh, 
Oh, okay, it's here. Okay, I will share the kit one. Can you see this one? Can you see Kwan? I can't see. Okay, can you see now? I can't see anything. You cannot see anything? What happened? Why? Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay, I have here. Okay, I will share it properly with you. Okay, so now here. Okay, please try to answer this properly. Can you see now the cat? Okay, no. Finish. We're just opening it now. It's just only sample. The one I told you before. Okay, that's sample. Now let us answer this one. Okay, you have to listen it again. Okay, one more for this cat. This is cat now. Okay, can you see that? Okay, in cat we have different vocabulary words also for you to introduce or your lesson. We have terrible. Traffic. You know what is traffic? Okay. Clerk. The one who work in the office. Local. The one who stay in your in your place. Clever. Smart. When you see clever, it's smart. Go for a drive. It means you all drive. I will go for a drive. Okay. Now you lesson this one. Okay, let us have cat. You have to listen it again and please tell teacher what is the correct answer. You know how to check to draw a line? You know how to do it? Okay, you let her tell me what is the correct. Listen. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. What have they forgotten? I've got the passports here. And the tickets are in my bag. What about the camera? Oh, no. I've left it at home. And I really wanted to take some holiday photos. Now listen again. I've got the passports here. And the tickets are in my bag. What about the camera? Oh, no. I've left it at home. And I really wanted to take some holiday photos. No. Two. No. What time does the train go? Hurry up. We'll be late. What time does the train go? At 6.15. We've got to leave in ten minutes. I'm nearly ready. Now listen again. Hurry up. We'll be late. What time does the train go? At 6.15. We've got to leave in ten minutes. I'm nearly ready. Three. Where is room 22? Can you tell me the way to room 22? Well, go straight down here, and it's the second door on the right. Do I have to go through the main hall? No, it's the door on the right just before you get to the main hall. Now listen again. Can you tell me the way to room 22? Well, go straight down here, 
And it's the second door on the right. Do I have to go through the main hall? No, it's the door on the right just before you get to the main hall. Four. Which man wants to see him? Which man wants to see me? The one over there, wearing a hat. The one with the glasses? No, not him. The other one. Now listen again. Which man wants to see me? The one over there, wearing a hat. The one with the glasses? No, not him. The other one. Five. How did the woman get to work? Oh, the traffic's terrible today. Yes, it took me 40 minutes by bus. Well, I drove and it took me an hour. An hour? It's probably quicker by bicycle. Now listen again. Oh, the traffic's terrible today. Yes, it took me 40 minutes by bus. Well, I drove and it took me an hour. An hour? It's probably quicker by bicycle. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Did you hear it? Clear? Did you hear it, Kwan? I can hear it. Okay, now I will ask you, what have they forgotten? Letter B. Letter B. It's the, what is this in letter B? It's a? Camera. Camera teacher, Anne. Oh, my no, God. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, it's the camera teacher, Anne. Number two, what time does the train go? What time does the train go? What is your answer? A. Letter A. It's 6.15. And number three, where is room number 22? It's letter? B. B. Okay, teacher showed it. Which man wants to see him? Which man? A. Letter A. Okay. Okay, the man with a mustache and wearing a hat. How about number five? How did the woman get to work? Letter C. Letter C. By a car. Okay, now let us have here Juan. Okay, in six to ten, listen to Paul. Talking to a friend about his family. What does each person do? For question 6 to 10, you write letter A to H next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Okay? Okay, ready? Now look at part two. Listen to Paul talking to a friend about his family. What does each person do? For questions six to ten, write a letter, A to H, next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Tell me about your family, Paul. Well, you know Sally, my sister, the writer, don't you? Yes. Is she your only sister? She is, but I've got two brothers. David's older than me and Bill's younger. How old is Bill? He's 19. He's studying French in Paris at the moment. Well, that sounds interesting. And David, what does he do? Oh, he's a teacher, the same as my mother was, but she finished working last year. 
And what about your father? Oh, he's a doctor at the local hospital. Ah, oh, of course. I've seen him there. My mother says he works too hard. She wants him to stop. She wants to go and live on a farm in the country near David. Hmm. Um, are you a doctor too, Paul? <laughs> I'm not clever enough. I work in a bank, the one in the high street next to the bookshop. Do you? So does my sister. Now listen again. Tell me about your family, Paul. Well, you know Sally, my sister, the writer, don't you? Yes. Is she your only sister? She is, but I've got two brothers. David's older than me and Bill's younger. How old is Bill? He's 19. He's studying French in Paris at the moment. Well, that sounds interesting. And David, what does he do? Oh, he's a teacher, the same as my mother was, but she finished working last year. And what about your father? Oh, he's a doctor at the local hospital. Ah, oh, of course. I've seen him there. My mother says he works too hard. She wants him to stop. She wants to go and live on a farm in the country near David. Hmm. Um, are you a doctor too, Paul? <laughs> I'm not clever enough. I work in a bank, the one in the high street next to the bookshop. Do you? So does my sister. This is the end of part two. Okay, you understand? Can you answer now? Okay. Okay, next here we have here the people and these are the other the jobs. What do you think are the jobs of the different people here? Next, number one, Bill. What's the job of Bill? -E. Now look at part two. What's the job of Bill? Bill is a? F. Letter F, a student. Okay, how about David? What do you think is the job of David? Letter G. Letter G, teacher. David is a teacher? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, David is a teacher. Very good. What's the job of Paul's mother? Letter C. Letter C. Okay, farmer? Paul's mother is a farmer? Are you sure? No. Uh, what's the correct answer? What's the job of Paul's mother? D. Letter D? D, D, D? Yeah. Oh, Paul's mother stopped work. How about Paul's dad? Paul's father, what's the job, Quan? Doctor. Yeah, it's a doctor. What's that letter? Very good. And then, what is the job of Paul? Letter A. Letter A, it's a bank clerk. Wow, very good. Yeah, Paul ha is a bank clerk. So actually, Paul, they have, okay, Paul is, we have Paul's mother, Paul's father, and we have here the different job of Paul. Okay, so we have here, okay, so Paul, they have, okay, Bill, David, and Paul. There are three in the family. Bill is a student, David, the brother of Paul, is a da teacher, and Paul is a bank clerk while his dad is a doctor. But his mom stopped from work and taking care of them. Okay, next, let's move. Okay, next one. You have here, please tell me, listen to Eric. Talking to Mary about the weekend, their friend Carlos is coming to visit them. For questions 11 to 15, check letter A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Okay, listen. Now listen to the conversation. Mary... 
What do you want to do at the weekend, when Carlos comes? Well, Eric, I must go shopping on Saturday morning. He hates shopping. But we could go to the museum and then meet you for lunch. Fine. What shall we do in the afternoon? There's a good football match on. Carlos will like that. OK. Do you want to eat at home in the evening? What about going to a restaurant? We haven't been to that Italian one for months. Or we could try that new Chinese one. OK, let's do that. Now, what about Sunday? If we get up early on Sunday, we could go for a drive in the countryside. Yes. And we could have lunch in a pub somewhere. Yes. The one near the river's nice. Shall we go to the cinema after lunch? We can't. His train's at four o'clock, and I'll have to take him back to the station. Now listen again. Mary, what do you want to do at the weekend, when Carlos comes? Well, Eric, I must go shopping on Saturday morning. He hates shopping. But we could go to the museum and then meet you for lunch. Fine. What shall we do in the afternoon? There's a good football match on. Carlos will like that. OK. Do you want to eat at home in the evening? What about going to a restaurant? We haven't been to that Italian one for months. Or we could try that new Chinese one. OK, let's do that. Now, what about Sunday? If we get up early on Sunday, we could go for a drive in the countryside. Yes. And we could have lunch in a pub somewhere. Yes. The one near the river's nice. Shall we go to the cinema after lunch? We can't. His train's at four o'clock, and I'll have to take him back to the station. More? This is the end of part One three. more? One more? No, no. Oh, okay, no one more. Okay, so can you answer now? Letter I. Okay, when is the football match? Okay, I will just emphasize here. Oh, where, where, where? Okay. When is the football match? Saturday morning. Saturday when morning, teacher Ann. Wait, wait, wait. No, listen okay. to Wow, well, no, it's Saturday afternoon where are they going to eat on saturday evening where where kwan kwan where kwan kwan in the what does they going to do on sunday morning okay so, do you... right. where oh. are they going to have lunch on saturday in the pub they can't go to the cinema on Sunday afternoon because they don't have time. Okay, very good, Guan Guan. Yeah, wow, very good. Very smart boy. So it means you are ready for the cat. Wow, yeah. How did you find cat? Easy or difficult? Easy or hard? Easy. Easy, teacher, because this is still easy one. This is cat number one. You will hear a telephone conversation. Listen, it's a conversation. A girl wants to speak to the Mar to Martin, but Martin is not there. So listen and complete the question. Okay, listen. Now look at part four. Listen to a telephone conversation. A girl wants to speak to Martin. But he's not there. For questions 16 to 20, complete the message to Martin. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello, 785-3126. Hello, could I speak to Martin, please? 
I'm afraid he's out at the moment. Can I take a message for him? Yes, please. My name's Elaine. How do you spell that? E L A I N E. Right. Elaine. And what's the message? Tell Martin that the party tonight is at the Grand Hotel. I'll meet him there. Does he know the address? Oh, yes. Everyone knows the Grand Hotel. OK, I'll tell him. And tell him I'll try to be there at half past eight, but I may be a bit late. Oh, I'm sure he won't mind waiting. I'll tell him 8.30. Is there anything else? Oh, yes. Ask him to bring a friend. A friend? Oh, good. That could be me. Hmm. Well... <clears throat> And please ask him to phone me if he can't come. Has he got your phone number? It's 724-5936. Right, I've got that. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Now listen again. Oh, potato, what is that? Hello, 785-3126. Oh, listen, Hello. listen, Quan. Could I speak to Martin, please? I'm afraid he's out at the moment. Can I take a message for him? Yes, please. My name's Elaine. How do you spell that? E-L-A-I-N-E. -E. Right. Elaine. And what's the message? Tell Martin that the party tonight is at the Grand Hotel. I'll meet him there. Does he know the address? Oh, yes. Everyone knows the Grand Hotel. OK, I'll tell him. And tell him I'll try to be there at half past eight, but I may be a bit late. Oh, I'm sure he won't mind waiting. I'll tell him 8.30. Is there anything else? Oh, yes. Ask him to bring a friend. A friend? Oh, good. That could be me. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> and please ask him to phone me if he can't come. Has he got your phone number? It's 724-5936. Right, I've got that. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. <laughs> this is the end of part four. Okay, so Hi. now one one. Okay, we have here someone is calling Martin in this message. Okay, so we have here, so Martin is here. So now, this message is to Martin from whom? Who is the one calling Martin? Elaine. Elaine, okay, very good, Elaine. The party is at where? A barbecue party. Okay, it's a grand hotel. It's not barbecue, Kwan Kwan. It's at grand hotel. It's a big hotel, grand hotel. No, my God. Time. What time is it? Oh, my God. I show the time. It is? Half. Past eight, teacher Anne. Okay, now, what you will bring? Please bring what? A friend. Please bring a? Friend, friend, friend. A friend, okay. What is her phone number? One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Okay, clear it, please. What is her phone number? Okay, Kwan Kwan, I'm not joking here. This is serious. What is the phone number? One six one seven two zero. Okay, the number one is wrong. It's seven two four five nine three six. That's the number one one. Okay. Okay. One one. Listen. Okay. Now. Let us have here. Okay, next one. Okay, for question 25, 21 to 25, you will hear some information again about travel agency. You know travel agency? 
You know travel agency? You know travel agency? Okay, travel agency, this is a center, a place in which you can have or you can see or you can go there just in case you need assistance if you will travel outside the country. Example, I will travel to America. So I will go to travel agency, I will buy tickets, and the travel agency will find a place for me in America. I will go there, okay? Next one. Look at now this look one. At part five. South Seas Travel Agency. Listen carefully, Kwan Kwan. Listen South to Seas some information about a travel agency. South Seas Travel Agency. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Hello, this is the South Seas Travel Agency. I'm sorry, no one can speak to you right now. The South Seas Travel Agency has moved to another part of town. We also have a new phone number. Please ring us on 847-2296. Our new address is 98 Warnock Road. That's W A R N O C K. It's easy to find. It's near the park at the end of the road opposite the bank. We will be open for business at our new office on the 21st of May. We hope to see you soon at our new address. We have many exciting holidays at special prices. And we have a present for anyone who spends £350 or more on a holiday. If your holiday costs £350, we will give you a travel bag, absolutely free. This beautiful bag can carry everything you need on a plane journey. And it can be yours, free. Thank you for calling the South Seas Travel Agency. Now listen again. Again. Hello. This is the South Seas Travel Agency. I'm sorry. No one can speak to you right now. The South Seas Travel Agency has moved to another part of town. We also have a new phone number. Please ring us on 847 Double two nine six. Our new address is ninety eight Warnock Road. That's W A R N O C K. It's easy to find. It's near the park at the end of the road opposite the bank. We will be open for business at our new office on the twenty first of May. We hope to see you soon at our new address. We have many exciting holidays at special prices. And we have a present for anyone who spends £350 or more on a holiday. If your holiday costs £350, we will give you a travel bag, absolutely free. This beautiful bag can carry everything you need on a plane journey and it can be yours free. Thank you for calling the South Seas Travel Agency. This is the end of part five. Okay. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. Okay, what is the answer? Do you know the answer now, Teacher? Juan? Are you listening for that? And time eight minutes. Are you listening about it, Quan? This is the end of the test. Okay.
Can you tell me? Can you assess me now? Can you give me the answer now? Okay, it's Warnock Road. Okay, what's the opposite? It's the bank, teacher. Very good, Kwan Kwan. It is opens on. It is opens on. On twenty first of May. Twenty first of May. Book a holiday for what? Three hundred fifty or more, and get a free what? Bag. Free bag, okay. Free bag. Okay, so that's it. Very easy. So we are only until twenty one to twenty one to twenty five. Okay, twenty one to twenty five. Okay, do you find get easy? Easy or not easy? not easy? Not easy. Oh, it's very easy. Cat is very easy. So now let's go back to our proper lesson. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's move to unit 46, please. This is our lesson. Okay. So teacher, okay, don't worry, there is listening for this. Okay, it's not all the time that you will have to listen because you already done listening with Kat. I give you try. Okay, why are you raising your... Oh, what a beautiful house. Okay, do you like that house? Yeah. Ah, which house do you like to live? Oh, you pick... You choose what house? The third house. Okay. And, you want... uh, and the two other house. This one or this one or this one? The, under the two house. Under the two house. Okay, this one. You like living in this? It's a very nice house. Okay. Now, are your friends... Okay, wait, wait for a while. Okay. This is... Are your friends with other people who live near you? Do you have neighbor in your house, Kwan? Do you have neighbor? You have. Okay. How many neighbors? Do you have friend in your neighbors? Do you have friend? You have friend. Wow, you have five friends. Okay, that's great. You've got an area. Okay. So when you, when you say never hope. Yes. One. You have many friends. Wow, that's great to hear. You've got many friends. Now, a neighborhood, we call this neighborhood. Look at them. They are with each other. They are talking. They're having a snacks. They are, okay, look at this, uh, this, what's that? This kid, uh, she, uh, he is uh, having a, what's this? A roller coaster, okay. Now, so neighborhood, what does it mean? It's an area with characteristic that make it different from other areas or the people live in the particular area, like in here. This is neighborhood. Example, your neighbor has a birthday, you will go to your the house of your neighbor. You will attend the party. And if you have the party also, you will invite your neighbor to attend your party. That's part of neighborhood. It means you have friends in your neighbor. Okay. How many neighbors do you have? You've got many. Wow. You've got many neighbors. Now, look at this one. Let us listen. Who is talking? You match the numbers and the letters. Okay? These are the numbers. Okay, look at them. These are one, two, three, four numbers. And these are the letters. A, B, C, D. Okay? Okay, Kwan? Please 
try to match number one, two, three from number A to letter F. 46A. We're all at home today. Listen and check your answers. Have you seen our new puppy yet? Yes, I have. It's really sweet. Can your mum give me a lift into town later? She can't today. Sorry. Were there lots of people at the match? Yes, there were thousands. Did you repair your bicycle? No, I didn't have time. Is John at home? He isn't now, but he will be later. Are you going snowboarding today? We are, but not until this afternoon. What happened? 46A. We're all at home today. Listen and check your answers. Have you seen our new puppy yet? Yes, I have. It's really sweet. Can your mum give me a lift into town later? She can't today. Sorry. Were there lots of people at the match? Yes, there were thousands. Did you repair your bicycle? No, I didn't have time. Is John at home? He isn't now, but he will be later. Are you going snowboarding today? We are, but not until this afternoon. Okay, do you have the answer now, Juan? What is your answer? Number one. Number one is letter D. Okay, look at number one. Look at number one. Number one. Have you said have you seen my pet toy toys yet? Yes, I have. It's really cool. Number two. Can your mom give me a lift into town later? What is your answer for number two? Let us see. Okay, wait for a while. It's letter C. Okay, let's see. Okay, very good. Letter C. Where is letter C? She can't today. Sorry. Okay, number three. Were there lots of people at the match? Were there lots of people at the match? Letter I. Yes, there were thousands. Four. Did you repair your bicycle? Four. Letter A. Letter A. F. F. It's letter F. Where is it? Letter F. No, I didn't have time. I did not repair my bicycle. Number five. Is Oliver at home? No. Letter B. Letter B. Oh, my God. He isn't now, but he will be Later. Very good. Guan Guan. Yeah. Number six. Are you going snowboarding today? Letter E. Letter E. Okay. We are, but not until this afternoon. Oh, very good. So you understand this very easy because you are very smart. Oh, my God. Very smart boy, okay. So the one encircled here, look at Kwan. Teacher is trying to encircle the auxiliary or the model verbs. Auxiliary. Are, didn't, is, are, did, have, can't, where, can, isn't, have, where. They are all auxiliary verbs. 
we call it one as auxiliary verbs. Okay. Auxiliary verbs. We call it as auxiliary verbs. Okay. That's auxiliary verbs. Do you understand? You understand, Kwan Kwan? Very easy, right? Very difficult. Oh my God. Now I will ask you. Which might you need in cold weather? Pick your answers. Which might you need in cold weather? The gloves. The gloves. Okay, of course. Which is spotted? Spotted. The one with spot. Umbrella. Umbrella. Very good. Which helps you learn spelling? Dictionary. Very good, Kwan Kwan. Which might I use to cut my hair? I will cut my the scissors. Yes. Which might you use in front of the mirror? Oh. Yeah. It's the. Yeah. In front yeah. of the mirror, the comb. Okay, it's the combed. Which. Haven't I spoken about yet? Which I haven't spoken about yet? Which? It's the? Glue. The glue. Do you know what? How glue is used for what? Paper. For the paper. For pasting paper. For pasting pro project. For pasting drawings. You will have to use the glue. Okay. Very good, Kwan Kwan. So today, Kwan Kwan, we don't have time. So teacher will say goodbye for now, okay? Okay, we only have one minute. We only have one minute, okay? Okay, you have one minute. You have one minute time left, okay? One minute. Yeah, one minute more, okay? So, hi, Potato, how are you? I am fine. Wow, very good. Okay, you answer again. Hi, Potato, how are you? Again, answer. I'm cool. I'm cool. Oh, I am fine, very good. Okay, Potato, face the teacher now. How old are you, Potato? How old are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. How old are you? I am three. Two. You're two? You're still two or three? Two or three? How old are you, Potato? Two. Two. Oh, it's not two. It's five. Two. I am two teacher. Okay. 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 What is your favorite food? What is your favorite food, Potato? Um, your favorite food? No favorite? Oh my God. You don't like ice cream? You like ice cream? No. You don't like ice cream? You, you like chocolate? No. <laughs> what do you like? Do you like a cake? No. No again. What is your favorite color? What's your favorite color? Color. You like orange? Okay, I will show you orange here. Where is orange? Okay. Ah, this one. This one. This is your favorite color? Yeah. Orange. This oh, is I like blue. I like blue. Are you like blue? Okay. Teacher has a blue color. This one. Oh my god. This is blue. Okay. Can you see that? Potato. This is color blue. Okay. Color blue. Okay. You like color blue? Okay, now, okay, you like orange, you like orange, red, you like red, 
Red? Okay, give me color red. Where is color red? Okay, where is the color red that you like? Show me the color red. Where is color red? Color red. Show, find color red. Where is color red? Okay, that is? That is color red. Okay, what's that? That's color? Okay, give it to potato corn. That's color? What color is that? It's red. Oh, very good. That's color red. Okay, you like color red. Do you know potato that the heart is color red? Okay, do you know the heart? Heart, this is heart, color red. Okay, you like red. Okay, so potato. Okay, what is, okay, what is your favorite animals? What is your favorite animals? Huh? No, 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 you like pink. I <laughs> what is your favorite animal? Animal, animal, what is your favorite animal? Animal. Yeah, animal, what's animal? You like you like dog? You like tiger? You like that? You like tiger? How about the frog? Do you like the frog? Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. You like that? No. Or you like the cat? What's the sound of the cat? That's a cat. You know cat? That is a? What sound is that? What sound, potato? Potato. <laughs> okay. Okay, qua. Wait, potato. Next year, okay, next year, you will study. You will study next year. You want to study? You want to study? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're still baby. What's the hat? That's a ruler. That's a ruler. Ruler. This is a ruler too. Yeah, that's a trapezoid ruler. That's a circle. Yeah. Circle. Circle. No, I'm not that. Okay, that circle, the one you're holding, that circle. But the other one, that's ruler, that's rectangle. Rectangle. Okay. Potato, you want to study next year when you will be four, you will study. Study, study, study. You study? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. You want to study potato? Where are you? <laughs> okay, so we will study also tomorrow. After Kwan Kwan, you will study, okay? Study, study, study. I will ask you tomorrow about shapes. Circle, square, uh, triangle. Okay, I will let you study. You want to study? Yeah. Tomorrow, study tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye, teacher. Okay, bye bye. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye, potato. potato. See you tomorrow. Okay, love, 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 teacher. Look at love, love, teacher. Love, love, teacher. Love, love, teacher. Oh, like that. <laughs> okay, very good. Very cute, potato. Bye bye, potato. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Study, okay?